Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pundit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to generate the token dynamically, okay, to authenticate dynamically so that we can get the data from the REST API. What happens in real-time scenarios? Yesterday, we have seen when you log in, you will get a one token. That token we have used to get the user data. Now, what happens? That particular token is uh, not a permanent token, which is going to be expired for every 15 minutes. Now, for every hour run, if you have scheduled on your pipeline, every hour your pipeline is going to fetch the data from the REST API. So, what your pipeline should request is every time your pipeline should have a latest token, meaning our Azure. Uh, pipeline our data pipeline should be capable of generating a new token every time before it uh, reads the data from the rest api so in order to do that what we can use is we can use a something called web activity to fetch the uh, latest token so we can able to use that particular token to read the data from the rest api okay so we can just uh, let's go and see uh, let me show you the steps now so the first step as we discussed we need to make the rest api url ready for that already we have seen installation of the postman yesterday then we also have seen registration login but now once again let me show you how to log in and get the token from the postman tool same login how we can able to do it using the web activity in the data pipeline and get the token these two things i'll show you then we can use that particular token to get the user data so that how we can able to do both places i'll show you from the postman and from the data pipeline so first let me show you how to log in and uh, with the login token how to get the user data from the postman tool so if we go here so this is our uh, rest api online link and if you come down here you can able to see this is a registration we have done uh, completed the registration yesterday this is the login URL. Take this login URL. Come here. So let's click on the new request here. And in this new request, whenever you want to log in, so this is the URL. And you can see this is a post method. So you need to use a method called post here. And then you need to go to body. So if you look at your body, you need to enter your email and the password. So let's go to body, select raw JSON format, put it here. So as we discussed yesterday, our uh, login credentials, right? These are the our login credentials. What we can do instead of our uh, this like a default one, we can take the yesterday whatever username password we have used for registration. Same username password we can use for the login. Now you can just click send. So once you send this, you can see your I got the token. Okay. So I got the token. So yesterday also we got this token, but this token is expired now. So that's why I want to move it on to the new token. So let's put that particular token here. So what I want to do, I want to use this particular token to get the user data from the postman. Let me show you come down so we can able to see a URL to get the user data. You can take this particular URL, copy this URL and you can put this particular URL in the list. Okay here and this uh, get user data which uses the method called get you can see method get and it is the authentication is barrier token so let's go to the authorization and select here barrier token this barrier token we need to pass at the header what is the key and value come up you can see this is the key authorization we need to use as a key okay and the value should be this is a barrier and then uh, so the value so what is the value value is the token that we just generated this is the latest token that we generated we can keep this particular uh, we can able to keep this particular token here now you can send a request now you can see i got the data so exactly how i have got the token when i log in and how i am using this particular login token to get the user data these two things i want to do it in the data pipeline dynamically token should come dynamically every time when you run a pipeline and our copy activity should take that particular token to copy the data let's see these two very quickly okay in order to do that what i'll do is i'll just uh, uh, let me show you the steps okay 
we are done with this i'll go and create a lake house in the fabric then i'll implement the data pipeline for generating the latest token to fetch the data from arrest api so i am here let's go to our fabric go to data factory click on my workspace click on new create a lake house what is your lake house name cloud pandit sync lake house 001 and create it so within this i'll be creating a container called output folder i'll be creating so in this particular output folder i want to load my rest api data fine leave it go to my workspace now go here and create a data pipeline okay so this is for pl for data ingestion dynamic dyna data ingestion dyna create it so which activity we need to use in order to log into we need to use a remember we need to use a web activity you can go to activities we can see a activity called web br just click on this so in this web activity first we need to uh, go to settings let's connect to the login just click new okay and you click new you will get the form here just wait for a while so here you need to put the base url for login again go back here so this is the url for login so just put this particular login uh, url here okay then you can just say that i don't want to use this existing connection i want to create a new connection this new connection name i am giving it as a ls for youtube video 2 okay something like this so the authentication you can use anonymous because credentials we will be passing through the body you can use your anonymous not an issue create it once you create it now what you need to do the method we have just seen the method that we need to use is post at the time of logging in and you need to pass the body what is the body team you just have seen your login credentials email and password you need to pass it as a body along with this one extra thing that you need to do is in the header okay in the header you need to put a content type team because this is one extra thing that you need to do in the data pipeline content type and type you need to put application slash json otherwise it will consider it as a text and it will fail it okay once you have done this come to home you can save this and then we can run the web activity so now you can go to output let's see the web activity output what it is saying okay so web activity succeeded if you see output of web activity is this okay we got the same things that we have uh, received at the time of logging in using the postman correct we got the same kind of a token but this token is something different in order to take this token dynamically we need to use a dynamic formula to pass this particular token into the copy activity that is activity of web activity dot output dot data dot token everything just put dot 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 it will come output dot data dot token okay so that particular formula you can able to uh, just prepare it it is very easy i'll just tell you at the uh, at uh, copy activity configuration how you can able to put it now you can able to use the copy data activity okay on success of uh, login you can use that login token to copy data from REST API come to source external source click new this is a REST API source select REST API within REST API you need to put the base URL for fetching the user data so this is the like base URL for getting the user data come here put that particular thing here okay and then I want to use a new connection here also this should be you can say ls4 okay source rest api okay source rest api it is not anonymous you can use basic authentication you need to put the username and password so what is the username cloud pandit 53 at the rate gmail.com we have used and password is cloud at the rate one two three okay just create it you can also see your credentials cloud pandit 53 at the gmail.com and the cloud at the rate one two three okay but this token i am not going to or like hard code it right so i no need to take that so what you need to do your source head click on advanced so it is a get only only thing that you need to do is header 
here you need to put the authorization what you need to put here you need to put a authorization put this particular authorization here here you need to use a barrier okay and a token so that's why add dynamic content here you need to concat barrier and the token both the things we need to concatenate let me write a formula at the rate concat of barrier space comma so the output should be a uh, web activity dot output dot data dot token that's it that's it so activity of web activity dot output dot data dot token we need to use click okay data dot token you can see output of data dot token we need to use in order to connect we can see whether connection and uh, we are able to read the data okay so leave it come to destination directly at the destination we created a lake house this is a lake house within this lake house go to files and choose the container what is the container that we created this is the output container select this then click ok so now you can see i am loading the data into this particular output container if you are not giving file name it will take file name dynamically not an issue now you can save yeah you can validate everything no errors were found you can save this particular changes okay then you can run it because i can preview it for previewing again you need to hard code that but maybe you will confuse that's why i have not previewed it directly you can see the token what is the token which is generated you can remember e0842 now if you see copy activity input side okay copy activity input side barrier e0842 we have passed it successfully to the header and our copy data activity successfully copied the data you can just click on the copy data one to see one file it read total 10 records because it is the pages in upcoming session we will see how to pass the page names dynamically we will see but in today's session if you see we are successfully copied all the data that we have in the page one into the output folder this is a file name because as we have not given any file name it has taken the default file name now you can able to see all the data is flattened and thin. okay that's how you can able to dynamically log in get the token using that token we can fetch the data from rest api copy into the lake house team so there are a lot of upcoming videos on the rest api because this is widely used one of the source system in real time okay i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and encourage me team and also put your questions uh, if any uh, doubts or something you can post your questions or doubts in the comment section thank you for today